Now I'd like to give the floor to the next speaker, the distinguished representative of Finland, His Excellency Pekka Olavi Havisto. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair, uh, colleagues, uh, excellencies. The OEC is a key forum to discuss European security, and the OEC is well equi equipped for conflict prevention and resolution. Arms control measures are an integral part of the OEC toolbox. We should make full use of the OEC's confidence and security building measures and implement the commitments we have all taken, starting from the Helsinki Final Act. The conflict in and around Ukraine remains unresolved and, uh, contributes and, and continues to have a profound impact on our security situation. The Minsk agreements and political dialogue remain the basis for solving the conflict in eastern Ukraine. Russia has the key role and main responsibility. Finland fully supports Ukraine's sovereignty and integrity in the internationally recognized borders. Finland remains committed to supporting conflict resolution in Ukraine through the OEC. It's important to recall the commitments in the Charter of Paris, refrain from the threat and use of force against the territorial integrity or independence of any state, and fully respect other freedoms of choice. Concerning Nagorno-Karabakh, Finland, as a member of the OEC Minsk Group, supports the efforts towards a lasting political solution. We continue to support efforts of the OEC towards the resolution of conflicts in Georgia and in the Republic of Moldova within the agreed formats. Human rights and fundamental freedoms, democracy and the rule of law are at the core of the OEC's comprehensive security concept. The human rights situation in Belarus continues to deteriorate. We call on Belarus to stop the instrumentalization of human beings for political purposes and putting people's lives in danger. Belarus should respect the fundamental freedoms and human rights to which it has committed. Finland is firmly committed to strengthening peace, stability and dialogue in Europe and is ready to assume the chairpersonship of the OEC in 2025. We would have preferred that the decision on the chairpersonship of Estonia for 2024 would have also been made. Finally, Madam Chair, I would like to thank the Swedish chairpersonship and particularly Minister Ann Linde personally for the huge effort you have made in taking the OEC agenda forward and wish all the best to Poland for 2022. Thank you.